they weren't specific at all. When this mother's 12 year old son came home from Raytown Middle School Tuesday afternoon, she was taken aback by what he told her. Asking him about the incident and he says it's a hanging body. Whoa, that changes the whole aspect of it, you know, because you didn't let us know that we will have to talk to our kids about hate crimes or suicide. Around 715 Tuesday morning, someone noticed a man on this tree. And I ran out. Sure enough, somebody was hanging about two feet off the ground. With every minute, concern grew. I knew the school bus was coming around 745, and I talked to two officers that said, you know, there's a school bus. This is a stop, and the, the bus will be pulling up. And they said that they can't do anything. What happened after that, Aaron Walker, the property owner, describes it just as bad timing. Coroner showed up, and uh, they actually uncovered the body with a yellow bag and the bus just happened to show up right then. And uh, they, of course, didn't see the bus right away, so it was very exposed. The Raytown School District says there were 14 students on the bus who saw the incident. In this letter sent to parents, the middle school principal called it a police crime scene. That upset some parents. We just want to be able to have the right conversations with our kids. She wishes the district would have been clear. Accidents happen and people die every day, but Suicide or hate crimes, that's different because we have to explain to them, you know, why or it's, it's more questions. And, you know, some of us just aren't prepared to ask, you know, answer those questions.